IE is just around the corner and there are some really exciting ships that we can expect to see in just one month. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for on the LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys. So, um, during CitizenCon, CIG essentially um, announced a few ships that we can expect to see. So, we're just going to go straight into it just to see... Uh, um, and just delve into the kinds of ships we can expect to see, okay? CitizenCon is usually about looking forwards, but we'll do some housekeeping and look at the now and a bit before. So, oh, sorry, this is Ben. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you remember last year, we kind of, we, we teased these 10 vehicle silhouettes. Um, now, these are vehicles that we were you know, planning on working on this year, and we've not quite delivered all of them yet this year. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we, we did come quite close. Um, so, so far we've delivered six. We've delivered the Pulse, the X1, uh, the Medvac, the Argo and PUV 1T, the RSI Zeus, and the rework on the Retaliator. Oh, but what about the rest? Sorry. So, all but one of these will be, will be released before the end of the year. So, the Legionnaire is the one that's going to miss out. And that's because we want to align it with hacking gameplay. Um, but the rest will be here before the, the end of the year. So, Crusader Intrepid. Mariah Guardian, and the Polaris. All right, so essentially, um, three key ones. I think there's going to be other ones as well, but Crusader Intrepid is um, essentially a Crusader's answer to a starter ship, and we're going to see more of it um, very shortly. The Mariah Guardian seems to be a heavy fighter from the Mariah brand, which is associated with MISC. So um, for those that don't know, the uh, Mariah... Um, Fury uh, ships just think of a, a larger version of that so I think it's going to look pretty cool so um, cannot wait to see that one and the RSI Polaris is the one that uh, a huge chunk of the community is looking forward to it's it's a really popular ship so um, yeah so let's see uh, what, what, what they reveal here so we have a few patches between where I am today, standing on stage, and the end of the year. But let's start with some things that you're going to see at IE. Okay, so this one, this one seems to be the um, Anvil Terrapin um finally getting a medical variant i think the community literally asked for this and it seemed like a perfect ship to be a medical um ambulance type of vehicle so um it seems like uh yeah cig is listening a lot to some of the things that we asked for if you really look back at all the things that they introduced uh uh during um this past citizen con it seems like a lot of the stuff is what uh, the community asked for so it seems like they are listening so let's continue All right, so this is the Crusader Intrepid, and um, it, looking at it, it looks really, really small. If you really pay attention, it looks very small, and which is it, which is expected. It's a starter ship, but I think it's just going to be wide, um, which allows uh, them to fit so much into this ship because it, it just seems like it has a lot of amenities for a starter ship. So it has a side entrance. Interesting. Okay. If you pay attention, it's the same ship over there across from it. So now you can see that it seems like it has a size 4 gun. But they have this uh, faded out a little bit. So. This this looks like size four guns to me, and it seems like it's going to be just two guns. I think I'm not sure if there's other guns elsewhere or uh, retracted or, but it seems like uh, it has two main guns in the front, 
I'm not sure if there's going to be other ones. If there's going to be other ones, that's going to be pretty powerful for a starter ship, if you ask me. But this looks like a size 4 gun to me, man. You know? So let's see. Look at that. Look at the amount of interior space this starter ship has. Has a bed and a little bit of space in that room. That's really nice. A really nice starter. So now this is the Polaris, right? So now the Polaris uh, did receive an upgrade not too long ago. I think a few months ago they mentioned it that the Polaris is gonna get two, the two. Um, I think this used to be two size fours, but I think it's been or two size fives, but I think it's been upgraded to two size sixes. So it's gonna be, it's <laughs> it's gonna hurt. And I think these are ballistics. I think you can't even change them. I think they're just gonna be straight ballistics. So now what I'm curious about is will they introduce reload mechanics for ballistic? ammo into the game when this releases because i think that's going to be very important such an epic ship So what's what's uh what really blows me away is just the amount of space of this hangar. I think honestly, man, if you look at this, right, the Argo MPUV One T can fit in there comfortably without issue. So if you look at that, it you can literally tug it to the corner right here. This means you can literally fit. I can see people fitting like 10, 10 um, arrows in here because the arrows, the, the wings fold, right? Well, and I can see you could probably fit a couple Scorpiuses in here. And I honestly think we might possibly fit a Zeus in here. I honestly look in the amount of space that this thing actually has. It's actually surprising. So um yeah i'm really excited i'm really excited um it seems like it's it's gotten a little bit bigger than what they initially pitched and that's that's big that's big I think this is the coolest part of this ship, honestly, but the, the way they designed the ship, this, the engine room is so amazing. So, so, so amazing.
so good. And this space is the cargo. This space is the cargo area. Um, for those that don't know, and it seems like these are the ramps that go down, um, which you can fit vehicles or uh, move cargo in and out of the ship. Really cool. And it, and it looks like they fully automated the torpedoes. And uh, I think that was a big concern of the community. Um, the risk of, you know, clipping the torps when you're manually. Because initially they wanted us to manually move them. But um, it seems like uh, they automated it, which is, which is better. Because there is a risk of completely blowing up the entire ship just by clipping it's too too much of a risk so I, I like the direction of them automating it this time just look epic man it just looks so epic love the ship all right guys so those are the ships that we can expect um i think it's possible we might see some other surprises during iae but we'll have to see what cig does but um nonetheless uh, you guys let me know which ship are you most excited for let me know in the comments down below before i let you i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one Industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are just you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe Catch you guys on the next one.